If you're looking to get this set, eBay might be a good spot for you. Check it out, link in the description down below. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey, hello there, collectors. It's Steven here, and I'm back bringing you another Dragon Ball review. But this time, though, it's going to be of an accessory set, and it's going to be for the SH Figure Arts Gogeta. It's going to be the demoniacal Fit Gogeta custom head sculpt set. In this set, we're going to get a customized head sculpt for the Super Saiyan form of Gogeta, and we're going to get a base form head sculpt for Gogeta as well. That one in particular has raised a couple of questions as to exactly why we got another head for Gogeta in his base form. I'm more than happy to explain why, but we're going to have to watch the review for that. With this being yet another demoniacal fit release, some folks are a little iffy if quality control is up to par, but I'm glad to say it just may very well be. So let's take a look to see whether or not this set's worth adding into your collection. Of course, there's a mystery surrounding that base head sculpt, so I'm going to save it for last. The Super Saiyan head sculpt included in this Gogeta accessory set is thankfully not a translucent head head sculpt. It is fully painted with some nice decals for the eyes, and the uh, paint actually doesn't necessarily match all of the other Super Saiyan colorations through the official SH Figure Arts releases, except one in particular being the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Renewal. I'm not quite sure why, but yeah. Well, you know what? To be honest, it is pretty accurate to the Broly movie. So, yeah, that's what he was going for. So, yeah, okay. You know what? It's cool because it's executed rather well, and it does look nice. Not really a whole bunch of quality control issues except for some of the exaggerated QC issues from the normal Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt, which this is a repaint of, or recast and repaint of technically because it's, it's the same, yeah. Yeah. So in this accessory set, we get the three faces the official release came with, which is going to be one the smirking face, one the neutral face, and the other the yelling face. All of them look relatively just fine. And like I said before, this is going to be a repaint of that Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt. So you can uh, you can mix and match <laughs> to your heart's content. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to be taking a look at the base form Gogeta head sculpt. See, that didn't take very long. This is going to be a repaint of the Super Saiyan blue head sculpt, but in a flat matte black paint application. And this particular head sculpt comes with two face plates, the normal neutral face plate and the yelling one, which were not included in the official SH Figure Arts release. Now we're gonna use the new Super Saiyan Blue Renewal Goku as a stand-in here, so this way he can use the included base form Gogeta head sculpt in the Figure Arts release as a side-by-side -side comparison. But if you checked out my official Gogeta review, you will know that they went back to the drawing board and for the base form head, they included a brand new sculpt and they didn't just repaint the Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt for his base form. This means when Demoniacal Fit went to go make this accessory set, they could do one of two things. They could either make brand new face plates for the already included base form head, which would probably take a ton of effort because they didn't exist, or include a repainted Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt with the black hair and just go ahead and repaint the face plates that we didn't get with the official release. Makes sense to do the latter because uh, not a whole lot of effort there. So that's what we got. And by the way, I think this might here be the recipe for a nice ultimate Gohan custom. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So buy it now, skip it, or wait for a deal. Uh, MSRP on this is kind of difficult to gauge. It depends on where you're going to be getting this. Prices range between 30 and 40 bucks, but if you get lucky like I did, your seller may include some water slide decals for your SH Figuarts. So this way they can include different symbols on your characters. Yep, 
I got a couple of different symbols, so this way I can put it on my Goku figure arts if I want them. So that's pretty cool. But overall, at the end of the day, the Super Saiyan head sculpt looks fantastic, and I cannot wait to have Gogeta battle the upcoming figure arts Broly release in September. And then we do have the base form head sculpt, which is fantastic. Now, something to keep in mind. Bandai will probably release an official Fusion Reborn Gogeta at some point, which is going to kind of be the same thing, but just a hole in the head so you can fit the Super Saiyan 3 Halo in there. And of course, he'll have the Fusion Reborn colors. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. Yeah, but this is nice and it's worth the purchase. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now that you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.